Americans have an estimated $16 trillion in tax-deferred savings, including IRAs and 401ks. And the IRS is waiting to grab up to 90% of your hard-earned cash. Stay rich forever and ever. Now, here's Ed Swan. Well, what's more fun than spending time with a CPA talking about taxes? <laughs> we want more, more, more. <laughs> You're going to follow my general rules of life, sort of like you don't cook bacon while you're naked. <laughs> the way to build wealth in this country, and there's no question about it, is to keep your money away from the government. So what is tax deferred? Well, that's easy. That's kind of like your deal with the devil. And as with any deal with the devil, there's a day of what? Reckoning. Who's going to pay for this? It's going to come from taxes. Taxes are going to have to be increased. And they know one thing about raising money. They know one thing about taxes, and they learned this from the feudal system. The best people to tax are dead people. Which dead people do you think Congress is most interested in? Rich, rich. That's right, rich, dead people. They're not interested in poor people. They're horrible customers. They say they like poor people, but they don't really like them. <laughs> so let's finish the Chris story. Chris dies. It happens. <laughs> the reason I like the legal pad, because it kind of looks like a football grid. It has all the lines there. And the last line is the goal line. Not a good goal for estate planning, which is what we're talking about. It's death. I call it what it is. When you're dead, you're dead. If I do an estate plan, I will die. Well, you got me there. What am I going to say to that one? It's true. But what's also true, if you don't do an estate plan or you don't have an exit strategy, you will also die with a big fat mess and your family will hate you. And the kids will say, no, you don't understand. We're broke. And it's his fault. And now we have to get jobs and everything. <laughs> Thanks to him. The more I brought up the kids, the less likely anybody was to do anything. Do it for your kids. And he said, never say that. I said, why? He said, because people hate their kids. <laughs> Think about it. Why do the grandchildren and the grandparents get along so well? They have a common enemy. <laughs> The grandchildren are the bonus that you get for not killing your kids. So I know how you think. That's how you stay rich forever and ever. <laughs>